Welcome to the FAQ Podcast, Frequently Asked Questions with Fuzzy and Quincy. If you would like to subscribe, I don't know why you didn't yet. Uh, it's like so much great content. It's amazing. It's a, um, it's, it's, it's a top tier, top yeah. shelf. The blood of Christ is uh, anointed. Wow, you over put that us. thing you on it. I did it because, oh, God, we got the Cali worship. Well, you got to say that kind of All stuff. Right. Um, just going to pray, uh, pray that thing right, huh? Ezekiel would be happy. I don't even know what book. What, what, is, that old, is, that old, is that Old Testament or New Testament? It's the Ezekiel. testament of what you need to be reading, people. Okay? Joshua would say, hey, why didn't you subscribe? Who is Joshua to you? Come on, man. You know Joshua. You just naming names. Dog, you know Mark. <laughs> okay, Book Mark of Mark. would say, "Hey, yeah. subscribe." I love, you, I love what them brothers you, are doing. Did you get in trouble and read the Book of Proverbs? I love. I do love Proverbs. I did. My grandma used to make me. Yeah, instead Proverbs. of getting whooping, she like you read, read the really? Proverbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the reason why we're talking like this, um, <laughs> we have a woman of Christ. So we, it, have, we, ain't, we ain't we can't curse. Hell no. No, no, no. We we was doing no, bad no. with Lecrae, so. No, no, no. You is you you banged heavy on the N word. Nah, cause it's my nigga. That's my nigga. No, 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 no. We not see. No, 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 no. I don't know where. Um, but she's my N word. Here's the deal. I don't know where Erica Campbell's going to go from. Okay, there. got it. Two, okay, four. she's yeah. she's done right, a lot cool. of things. She's we'll just we'll, I don't want this podcast to be the reason why when she runs for governor of of California, that's like I oh, guarantee yeah. you, she will never run for you governor. Know, listen, she's the, not. Oh, listen, she's listen, not. That's listen, not her swag. Like they say. In the book of Ephesians, Efe- uh, Levit- Leviticus, yeah. you never know where <laughs> people right, will go. Listen, we got Erica <laughs> Campbell in the building. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm so happy to have this, uh, have you here. This is uh, an honor. I'm glad to be uh, here. Like glad this, to be here with y'all. This is going to be fun. I'll tell you this. This is real. So I, um, I wake my sons up, my two older sons, the bunk bed, and I got Alexa. Every time they, they hate it in the morning, well, we used to wake them up with... Um, uh, get up. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Mary, Mary, get up. Yeah. Like, blocks, so like, radio. <laughs> yeah, turn right. it up. And they're like, mm, Dad, turn it off. No, I'm not turning it off. <laughs> <laughs> he started off swimming and <laughs> just got slapped. Sing it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that was that's, the vibe they was on. What? That's my joint. That's, a lot. that's actually a lot to be thumping when you try and get out your sleep. No, and I wake them up. I'm, that is, get yeah. up. You know, I found out a lot of parents do that. This one woman really? told me, uh huh, I did was doing an interview in, I think Atlanta, and she told me her daughter was depressed, Ooh. like literally, like you know, struggling in school, dealing with identity, all that kind of stuff, yeah. like pulling her hair out, hair out, wouldn't get out of the bed. She said she just started playing, get up, not in her room, but outside her room. Wow. She would play it every day, and she noticed she would at least get up out of her room. She kept playing it, kept playing it. She eventually got the courage to go back to school just listening to that song. She was in tears while she was telling really? me. Wow. So people oh, really man. use that song to literally Listen, get up. Get up. Yeah. It works, see? You wanted something. Yeah. Right there. yeah. Doing the right thing. Good dad. Yes. He is a great dad. <laughs> in the, listen, in the book of... Uh-oh. No, you, you're going to you're you're get struck okay. down. And the, no, you don't have to misquote. Gonna, it's called just speak English. It's okay. Yeah, you you know my heart. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Erica, where did we start? Listen, she's from Inglewood too. I'm from First Inglewood. of all, a legend. Yeah, like a le- This is no. You know what I? <laughs> do you remember I said they call you the Beyonce of gospel? Oh God. She like yeah. I'm like oh okay. Yeah. I'm not you didn't tell me, but the, I, no, heard, I, I heard I heard a couple people of Beyonce of gospel. I'm just Erica. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm but, just Erica. Try, try to paint the picture because I know this is kind of um, hard to do. You're from Inglewood mm-hmm. and you performed at the Super Bowl. Man. In Inglewood. In, in, in Inglewood. At the new SoFi yeah. Stadium. With the Rams. Performing at the Super Bowl. The reason it's so monumental for me is because I went to high school, middle school, elementary school, my church, my home, my grandmother. Everybody is probably within a five to ten mile radius of the stadium. Wow. Passing where that place was, when it was the racetrack, when it was the Hollywood yeah, Park. Yeah, wow. yeah. Um, getting my nails done across the street. Um, but also knowing that the big game was there and like, man, I want to sing there one day. Just saying yeah. that over and over. Mm-hmm. I want to sing there one day. Before it to happen, before it to happen at a time when Mary Mary's not putting out new music, mm-hmm. like yeah. we haven't been on no campaigns. Right. You know, we don't have managers and teams of people right now. It was literally a phone call like Yo, Mary Mary should do this. And I just feel like you plant seeds and your discipline and your actions water those seeds. Mm. Right. So you can plant a seed, but if you act a fool, it may not grow. If you plant a seed and you're still 
doing what you're supposed to do, working hard, being diligent, being kind to people, you know, I feel like you you reap what you sow, not where you sow. Wow. Right? Not where you so sow. I've, Got it. I've planted seeds in my church. I've planted seeds in the neighborhood, just planted seeds, doing things for people, working for free, singing for free, yeah. doing backgrounds, going to people's events. And I believe that God rewards that hard work and that the goodness in your heart. Um and it, it shows up in ways in your life that lets you know that it's nothing but God. You know what I mean? So I'm not taking credit for it. I'm super, super grateful to be there on that message. I mean, 170 million people yeah. watching. Like, yeah. just amazing for me and my sister. And then to do it together after, you know, we've been kind of doing our, on hiatus our separate bit. thing on hiatus a little bit. Yeah. Um, but to do it with her is just, it just felt incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Man, I'm... How many new friends did you have people call? Hey, you know, I see you. Oh, yeah, my phone's off the chain. <laughs> all, all the men in my family was like, yo, sis, I don't usually you hit know, you up. Yeah, but, uh, but check this out. Check this out. Can I get some? I, I was trying to, I, but when they hit me with this to $2,000 a ticket, they was like, yeah, I'm going to yeah, watch yeah. at the house. And that's cheap. That's, that's, that's cheap, yeah. It's some $4,000, yeah. $6,000 yeah. and, and more. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations on that. That's Thank dope. You. I'm, I'm happy for me. I'm really happy what, for what it did for the city. I'm yes. happy for the restaurants, the black-owned businesses. I'm, yeah. I'm just, you know, it infuses money in your city, and I just hope that the money goes to the right in places. Yeah. Where there's no good. No, it, it, yeah. It's a little good in there. It's, a, it's good in the hood. Inglewood. You had me through Inglewood. I'm like, I used to stay in Inglewood for a hot like, second. I like Inglewood. My wife used to um, teach at Frank D. Parent. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just saying, I'm, mm-hmm. it doesn't feel as... As you know, you know how you hear on TV, like, oh, that's Inglewood. You know, what's Inglewood? Oh, no, nah, Inglewood's popping now. I yeah. mean, they really... Them streets are they cleaned up Century and yeah 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 Crenshaw it's gentrified it's very yeah. gentrified gentrified but it's still L A so you go if you go yeah. to the right if you know the right places and you know you still feel the sense of community well I do I feel the sense of community like people speak to each other and you know I mean mm-hmm. you gotta be careful because you know but it's still Inglewood it's still Inglewood but yeah. it's a different kind of vibe I've yeah. I've always enjoyed Inglewood and so yeah. I never yeah never like shy away from saying oh, I'm Oh, no, nah, no, nah, never. Yeah. We're pride. Yeah, for we're sure. pride. For sure. Did you go to Inglewood High also? Or did you went to? Well, see, the, the, the amount of times that we moved. Oh, you was on tour. Oh yeah. You so I went to Inglewood. Tina went to Morningside. So why um, y'all go I separate? Graduated. Well, I, I'm two years older than her. Just we moved. Yeah. We I lived here, and then we moved somewhere else, and then we stayed with an aunt, and then stayed with a grandma, and it, you know. Got it. Got it. Got it. It was that kind of thing. Yeah. But I ended up graduating from Linwood High School, but I still right. claim I still claim Linwood. Inglewood. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Me and Fuzz have a, a radio background, and anytime I see, like, a celebrity go into radio, specifically morning radio, I'm like, they crazy. Like, Ooh, why would yeah, you do it's a tough morning radio? Shout out to Kobe <laughs> Cole. I used to be his intern growing oh, up. Oh, wow. So talk about the radio, you know, grind, because it's different from, you can't just live off of your name in radio. It's like, you got to put really gotta the, work work the work in. Really got to be Right. And I've heard you a couple of times. I'm like... Man, she sound good. She sound like it ain't three o'clock in the morning. Like you know, that, <laughs> talk about that grind because people don't really yeah. see it when they hear it. It's like, oh, it's just. Mm. Well, see, my East Coast people don't trip, but all my West Coast people, like when I invite, when I try to get Tina on, yeah. she be like, I'm not waking up at two thirty in the morning to come play with you on the radio. Yeah, I'm not doing really it. She's early. been on a few times, but. It is no joke. It's a big commitment. So when I first got the call to do it, Miss um, Kathy Hughes actually called me herself. She called me personally oh, and that's, said, "That's a big deal. I want to give you a syndicated show." And I was like, uh, "I live in LA. I- I'm living this music life. We just started yeah, the church. Right. I don't think I can do it." It was my husband that said. He asked. He was like, "Who was that?" I told him it was her. I told him what she said. Told him what she was offering. And he was like, "Call her back and let's see if we could work it out." Mm-hmm. So we called her back, and um, she told me about their studio, studio in Dallas because I've always thought Radio One Reach. I always thought Philly, D.C., that yeah. area. So when I found out they had a studio in Dallas, I was like, hmm, we can work it out. So for the first, I think, two years, I was flying every week. Oh, fly job. I would do church. I would leave Monday, be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, come home Thursday, do Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, leave my out. So I right. was back and forth and it was wearing me down. Yeah. It was literally tearing my voice up actually. Really? Yeah. So but now I fun. yeah, I I go but I'm not I'm not that's too much wear and tear on your body. My kids are little in school. So it's working but the show is still growing. We're still talking to really amazing people. Yep. I love that I can play gospel music but also introduce people. I don't I don't play the radio games. Ain't nobody paying me nothing to play nothing. All right. Um it's all hard for me but I don't I don't mean I don't you know, I don't do the programming anyway but yeah. it allows me the opportunity yeah, freedom to freedom though. The, Play I do. Or, yeah. Yeah. So I get to, you know, 
talk, have my friends on and, and support people who yeah. necessarily wouldn't get a shot or wouldn't get interviewed, which is really, really cool. Because I remember when me and Tina first started, it wasn't as easy as people think. It wasn't. Nah. Yeah, no. We got we got we got embraced by urban radio before gospel radio. Gospel yeah. was like, and that usually yeah. it's, the, it's the opposite. Usually gospel radio, then you sure. cross over, I guess, to urban radio. No, they claimed us after we, you know. Mm. Yeah. After was How many years you've been doing the radio show? Seven years. Seven years, and I really like. But it. she cut the line with a starting off with a syndication deal, y'all. Like that's a that's a bar. Yeah. That's a, but God you, is good. Well, Fuzz, you, again, you got to go, you know how it is, syndicate. It's like, hey, Philly, we love it. Eric and Cam in the morning. Hey, hey Baltimore. Hey. Like, it's oh, just yeah. it's a, it's a lot. lot. It's a, it's a, a lot so of So for work. every market, I have like at least two or three sheets of reads. Drops. And, Drops. Yeah. And how many you know what I mean? You, I have you, to. You in a. 40? Uh, woo! Woo! <laughs> That's no, a lot of markets. Forty? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember when it yeah. happened. I was like, Erica, that's a big. And deal. you know, people probably looked looked at you like, all right, let's see how long this is gonna last. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh my god, all my friends like they come on. They be like, how long are you gonna do this? I was like, long as I can. I like it. I enjoy it. But to start I off really doing do. a syndicated morning show is a bar. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you said, is it? I just yeah. went from high school to the <laughs> NBA. I don't know. I don't know what you guys had to do. God has blessed me. No, yeah. but listen. But before I though. got before I got the radio gig, man, I had been trying to get in radio for a long time. I had pitched. There's a a, a sizzle reel of me, what? you know, what I can do and what the segments will be like. And they were like, mm, nah. So you tried before. Yeah. Then when you wasn't trying, that's when it came to you. Right. Shout out to Tom Verson, who really believed in me and Tina. And even Tina was like, ah, it's too early. I'm not doing it. Oh, let's wait. Well, let's you wait. and Tina got two different. Yeah, we do. Oh, we do. Yeah. When yeah. I decided, I was like, okay, I can do this by myself. It's really hard when you're used to being with somebody. You just want to do it with that person because yeah. you partnered so much. Because y'all got chemistry. Yeah. yeah. When you learn to stand on your own two feet and own who you are. And Tina's funny. She is freaking hilarious. She's, funny. She's very funny. I love my sister. Yeah. Um, so who's but she was cheering for me from 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 day one. From the bed, like yeah. go ahead. Uh, from the your, bed for go real. Ahead, Erica, you got, you got it. Yeah. Who's who's a part of your morning show? Who's a, who's like your ensemble? Um, so Griff, the comedian Griff, is my co-host. Love Griff. Yeah. What Griff happened was I saw him years ago in Atlanta when he was working at at Hot Hot, and um, he gave me his card and he was like, "Man, I'm a work I'm a work with y'all one day," you know. <laughs> and I was like, "All right." Um, and every time I would talk about it, I'd be like. Let's consider him. So when we were doing the show, they were pitching people. And when we got on the phone, because they like we did so many auditions and so many tests and so many things. And it was Kobe and all the executives like in our face. Like, how do you respond to this? And how do you say this? Mm -hmm. And this is you have to say this after the hour and before the hour. Just all these things you have to learn yeah, when you're yeah. in syndication. You have to, you know, um, our chemistry was just really good. The, and so it just worked. I have uh, my executive producer, Tyreen Jackson, who comes from Urban Radio. Um, world famous V Man, Venos Ford is my engineer. Another young girl, Brittany Luck. It's, it's a really great team that feels like family. We call ourselves the Get Up Church. Uh, Get Up Church. Yeah. <laughs> Get Up Morning. And I play my song, Get, Get up, up, that goes right there in the show. So it's like, how crazy is it that I have two songs in the morning and Get Up, and I can interchange them in my show on the morning? It's just, it feels like a big old blessing. Oh, yeah, man. That's double, it that's like called double old, promotion right there. Yeah. <laughs> Called, it's illegal. No, 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 no. And it was already playing the music. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, one thousand percent. So, That's man, dope. yeah. So you get up, you do that grind. Yes. You keep the energy. Mm -hmm. Um, you you have a crazy husband. <laughs> you got kids. Yeah. How do you? And your mom. So mom is different Hands from on. dad. Like I, dad. Yeah. I'm like I. I would not want to be a mom. Like my kids will say it could be like a phone right here. They'll walk out of the room like, hey, mom. Where's oh, yeah. the phone? Uh -huh. like, why you ain't just it's right oh, there with sure. dad? So how do you, as the mother, mm -hmm. deal with all this and balance everything that you're doing? I got a good team. I don't yeah. do this by myself. Yeah. So some mornings I take them to school. Sometimes Warren takes them to school, and and they will come to me because I think I give more yeses than he does. So now my my latest answer lately is go ask your dad. Woo. My son, mom, I need to get my phone fixed. Go ask your dad. He got more money than me. Go ask your dad. Mm -hmm. Chris, mommy, can I go to my friend's house? What did daddy say? Mm -hmm. Plus, it it allows them to see togetherness. It allows them to know that they can't, you know, play one against split, the other. Split it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's so important because the vision of unity and family that they see is what they're going to recognize when they don't see it in somebody else. 
So I always try to make sure that even in what we're doing, whether it's me cooking and Warren washing the dishes or Warren cooking burgers or, you know, whatever he's doing and we're doing it together. Yeah. I think it's important for them to see that vision of family, especially because I'm gone. So when I'm home, I don't want to give the world more than I give them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a public success and a private failure. I don't want to post good pictures on Instagram and my kids rolling their eyes were like, oh, God, here your mama go. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? No, I get so it. my little daughter, um, we were working out. You know, the little Culver City stairs? Yeah. So we were doing that. And my, her little cousin was there. And she was being kind of mean. Just kind of, stop. That's You get on my nerves. You're so annoyed. So I was asking her what's wrong. Instead of reprimanding her for just being in a bad mood and having a bad spirit, um, well, got on her case first. And then I asked her, okay, what's wrong? She was like, I don't know. I just, I just got a bad mood. Oh. And I said, where did it come from? She was like, I don't know. I said, you know that there's an enemy that wants to steal your joy? So when you have a bad day, you can decide if I want to keep this bad day or if I want to change it. She literally started crying. Aww. And so I prayed for her and I told her, don't give up your joy even when you're having a bad day. You can have a bad day, but you don't have to be mean to people. And you have to recognize that that bad day wants to steal something from you. So don't stay there. Right. And so, you know, we played some little silly games. And then I told her, you can't be mad if you say foofy four times. And so she was like, foofy, 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 and started laughing. Right. And uh, just kind of shifted her little mood. And that's... Those are the important things about parenting to me, other than just giving them things. Because you can give your kid everything, but if you don't teach them anything, they won't be equipped for life. Hello. You know what I mean? That's Shoes real and phones and things. Yeah. That doesn't equip them to deal with the real of life. I tell yeah. them that it's not going to be easy. I tell them you're going to be compared to your mama and daddy. You will. But you'll rise to the occasion because we're going to make sure that you can. Because yeah. I cannot have no little lame losers. When are we going to get a parenting book? That felt so. I was like, I was waiting for her to say, and you can get it in my book on <laughs> yeah. parenting. Like, well, seriously. I did have a book called more than pretty and I talk about my kids yeah, I talk about a lot of things that really they're lessons that got passed down to me from my mom the way my parented my mom parented you ever see what and on nine of my siblings you see how seven she, of my siblings her mother how old is your mom she, uh, she would kill me if I said her age but she, she don't old look, school no she my don't mom's look her age. amazing fire yeah my mom no, is amazing no, I'm saying, people but, always no, 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 call, no, no I, I have all the deacons and the elders okay. Okay. God bless, how's your mom God bless you mom, oh. mom's how's your like, mom great got it I'm trying but, to get her to go on a date. So, I need a grandpa, so I never had a grandpa. You, you think she'll you think she'll go on a date right now? I wanted my mama really? to go on a date. She I, cool. Well, my, I got a my dad. He's widowed like four years. He's like seventy three. Okay, know if he that's can, all right. You know? Okay, I don't know if he can keep this. But she, my mom's she a woman, fun. Woman. She goes. Woman, she woman. Yeah. Like she's not a sit at home church I, I woman. In the morning, she wakes up and she's gone I, somewhere. Yeah. Like me and all my siblings be like, "Where's mama?" Oh, baby, I went to Palace Verdes. I wanted to go eat at such and such. They get it from their mama. Put it that way. They get it from their mama. That's all I got to say to you. Maybe. If you look at all the sisters. Hook my dad up, dog. Huh? He, he probably mad I'm saying this, but hook my dad up. Like, my mom's, up. If my mom sees this, she's going to be totally upset. Yo, what's, Do why? I like I'm that kind of, I'm not that kind of woman. I was like, mama, what kind of woman? What does that you mean? You just need a friend. Everybody need a friend. Need a friend. Everybody got to eat. Yeah, Come yeah. laugh and talk. Mr. You think Mr. she want to date? I've never seen my mom date anybody. I don't want to see that. I she's had. a woman. Yeah. You think you want to see your mom date? She was, your, she was a woman before you, before you came I don't, bro. You know what? I was yeah. able to separate my parents being in love and them being my parents. I saw them as human beings who loved each other before we got here. Right. So yeah. my parents' love story is crazy. Married each other three times. Divorce, married, divorce, married. Really? When that, they just couldn't let each other go. Three times? Nope. That's a story. My mom told me I got that graveyard love. I, she said, I don't know how not to love Eddie. I did a song called Eddie, Eddie on my... Yeah, sure yeah. did. And Dedicated so um, at the... At, you know, closer to the end of his life before my father passed. He passed in, in, in 2013. Um, he said, why do you think I kept coming back? He says, because I loved my wife and I love my family. He was like, we couldn't get it right for some reason. He was like, but it wasn't because I wasn't trying. Wow. And it, it meant That's so deep. much to me. And I think it helped um, me and my sisters, who the ones that are married, have the ability to hold on and... You know, yeah. fight yeah, for our marriage. Hook my dad up. Yeah, come on, man. I'm See seeing it? a picture of. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> yeah. This is a. She's a. She's a beautiful respectful. woman. That's a long dress, though. She yeah. she dresses. She dresses up. Come on, mama, yeah. give it to him. Yeah, that was her. That was her birthday party. We had a birthday party. <laughs> you about to FaceTime your dad? Yeah, my dad can get ball. Yeah, I, no, I can. Nah, he would. Now, me. is he saved? Um, he saves some money. Oh. Does he love the Lord? Yes, he does. Is he filled with I the said, Holy I Ghost? Yes, some money. Yes, does he go to church? 
He, need, he needs somebody to bring him back to church. He yeah, not no, a heathen. Mama ain't, mama ain't like that. No, nah, he's not a heathen. No, he's not a heathen. He like to listen to she good don't music. To, she don't want nobody. She got to convince uh, who she Jesus was, she, is. For real, she yeah. wanted that? She wanted, oh, she wanted, uh, you better be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. My mama old school. She come to my house and see something in my that? refrigerator, like some champagne or something. She be like, what are you doing? The blood of Jesus. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Old school. Got it. Yeah. I, I had to teach My mom is probably on at least four or five prayer calls a day. So she want to date like a deacon or an elder or a minister, maybe? You think so? Probably. Oh, wow. she, Mom, she need a little gangster, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. My dad was a little gangster. He was a little thug. So my dad was like a preacher to like the street dudes. Okay. So Down to earth, always, super. Yeah. So he, we used to go to, when I was a young girl, we would go to, um, what's that park? Central. We would go to some park in the hood where it was homeless people. and Yeah, yeah. All kind of folks, and we would be there singing, and he would be praying for them, and he would be, you know, telling them that God could change their life. Right. And so I was in a beauty supply. I was a little older. I was living in in Hawthorne, you know, single girl town. Yeah. All single girls living. Dodie Ave. <laughs> Dodie Ave. <laughs> I was on you. I was on Yukon, <laughs> Lamoli over yeah. there in Inglewood, in in in, in, in Hawthorne. In Hawthorne. Hawthorne. And this guy, um, he kept going, "Hey, I know you," and I thought he was trying to talk to me. I was like, "You do not know me," mm-hmm. you know. The, you know, ghetto, ghetto girls have attitude. <laughs> And he kept going, no, I know you. I was like, you don't know me. Do you go to my church? You see me at church? You know, attitude. And um, he was like, no, your father prayed for me when I was in um, in the pen. Wow. He said, I remember your father praying for me. And he was like, that dude changed my life. And tell him I said, thank you. And to me, that's the far-reaching impact of my father's life. That's why me and Tina so desperately, and me as a solo artist, so desperately want to reach the unchurched because they feel like I can't talk to you because I cuss or I can't be around you because yeah. I, you know, smoke or whatever you do. And if you look at the life of Jesus, he was, the religious people hated him. Right. The religious people were the ones that killed yeah, him. Yeah. So if you look at the life of Jesus, he was always trying to reach people who needed to know and understand. And that's really what I got mostly from my my mom and dad and just watching their whole life, their whole love story and how it's affected me in my life and how I want to reach people. Oh, man. That's... Not like the Campbells, Warren and, and, and E, right? They're non-judgmental. You know what I'm saying? Like when I, you know, I got some personal stuff going on, they give me advice all the time. Yeah, you need a lot of uh, advice. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot going on. Jack. Yeah, but like, cause you, you good? You good? Uh, I'm so, great. I'm great. On, let's 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 put uh, Fuzzy on the couch right now. What what, what you Man. dealing with right now, Fuzz? <laughs> you like, I'm not, listen, I'm we not. have um, are you a de- you deacon? Um, we have the first lady of the church. Definitely he a first lady. Know yeah, a she's a first lady. Yeah. Yeah. When was the last time you've been to church? Listen, Maybe you need to be on the couch. That. I have been. Uh, I've seen his pastor. His pastor swaggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wearing true religion jeans and a Rolex. Marshall Mitchell, Salem Salem Baptist Church of Roslyn. It's in uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's a nice church if you like. But go to Cali our worship as well. Anyway, what are you dealing with? Fuzzy? I'm dealing with nothing. It's, it's something FAQ you podcast right something now. Something on your heart. What's going nah. on with you? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm I'm complete. <laughs> uh, just making. You know what I mean? You sure. Gucci. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Listen, we can go. We can go here. New music. Yes. Um, you're coming out with a solo project. Yes. Right. I know everybody asking, when the new Mary Mary? Like, last time we had Warren, I was like, when the new Mary Mary? He's like, I got one. I don't know. Well, and then he did, like, this rhetorical question. Well, why don't raindrops get wet? I'm like, what are you talking about, Warren? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Warren? Classic. Yeah. So it's your classic. new project. Describe yes. what are we going to get from this? Uh, why did it take so long? Why did it take so long? Yeah. Ooh. Um, radio is a part of the reason it took so long. Yeah. Um, we did where the Campbells in between this time, doing a church. Uh, my block records warns had so many mm-hmm. our other artists to put out, which is totally fine. Yeah. Um, and then focusing on our kids. Um, there's a lot of reasons. I've put singles out. Yeah. yeah. A few songs, but it's time for a whole album. It hasn't been a whole album since 2015. And that album did really well. Yep. Um, yeah, super happy about that. But this new song is called Positive. And the reason I chose that name and that title and that whole thing is because the word positive is now negative because of COVID. You know wow. what I mean? But I, I believe words have power. And I don't believe that the heaven has changed its mind about the word positive because of what's going down, going on down here. So That's I deep. think we need to take that word back. Deep. Claim it. Own it, say it, speak it. You know what I mean? Like what you say, I feel like everything you say sends a message to heaven of what you're ready for. If you're speaking negative all the time and they ain't going to do this and they ain't going to call me, it's not coming to you. 
Positive. But if you choose to have a positive mindset, it can affect your house. It can affect your business, your life, how you think, what you speak. I always say, what is your self-talk? I ask my daughter in the morning when she's getting ready for school. She's a senior. What is your self-talk? What are you saying to yourself about yourself? Are you going to say today's be a great day? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to affect somebody positive. Somebody needs what I have. Mm -hmm. That's what I say when I go in like big rooms, like, you know, with all the celebrities, somebody in this room needs what I have. I don't go and intimidate it. I don't go and go, oh, I'm just the gospel artist in the room. I hope they like me. Are you going at I go in positive, yeah, positive yeah. about who I am and what I've been given and how I choose to use it and how I own it and how I claim it. How you show up is important before you get in the room. How you show up for you when you're looking in the mirror. So um, all that's in the album, just causing people to think differently. So, you know, it's gospel, of course, but it's got some mainstream sensibilities. And, of course, I'm going to make you dance a little bit. And, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. we're going to church you a little bit. Something you can get in your car and drive to. Always that. But really just trying to dig deeper as a songwriter, too. Um, and Warren is no joke when it comes to songwriting. Like he'll tell me in a moment when it's whack. Wow. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. I, I've nah. seen that. Start again, nah. Uh, how do you guys? So the the Warren producer slash husband, you got to separate it. How often? For sure, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Because sometimes I love my husband, but I don't like my producer. Ooh. Sometimes talk, I really love my pastor. That. Yeah. But my husband, I, he might have said something the other day and didn't apologize and got on my nerves. How long y'all been married? Twenty years. Wow, that's a dub. Yep. That's a yeah. That's a. I'm 13. happily and healthily married. Happily and healthy. Some people's marriage is not healthy. Yeah. They just there because they ain't, ain't nowhere yeah. else to go. They don't want to do nothing. Else. I don't uh, feel like separating all my assets, so we just going to stay here. But it's work, though. It is. But yeah. we talk about it all the time. We really do kind of love check-ins, heart check-ins. How you you good? You you need something else from me? Is, are you are you satisfied in all areas? We, we good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you have to have those conversations. Yeah. Because, you know, when we have all these friends and all these friend groups – and you talking, 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 and you posting, posting, posting. And sometimes you literally ripping your man to shreds. Because you're talking to your girl. This ain't a problem in your house, but it's in her house. And you like, yeah, girl. And yeah. your man going, well, dang, is that how you fit? Are we all right? Yeah. Like, and I think what I love about us, not I think, what I love about us the most is the fact that we can talk and we can be honest. Yeah. Good, bad, and different. You know, good days, bad days, we can really be honest with each other. I can kind of hold a grudge sometimes. Let's talk you know, about well, that. I, How was the long she ever held a grudge a woman, for? Your wife. Yeah, a, a, woman, and, with this a woman and a wife, they just, they hold, they just let it go. It's hard. But do you go? Because we think a lot. We think about why you said it, why when you, you said it. it. Just let it be. Yeah. Let it no. be. <laughs> yeah. Did I trigger you? You yes. feel you look triggered. Yeah, why you said it, when you said it, what you weren't, what you were thinking about, what you weren't thinking about. We take all that personal. We're women. It is what it is. Why? Because we're trying to help you be better. We're no, trying to help you I don't to need think. Help. I just you want, do. You do need help. Walk around yeah. the house in a tank Let me tank tell you this. I'm I just good. saw. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, but what about when we walk around the tank house and you don't house walk around the house in the tank top and you don't say nothing? I do say something. No, I'm a no you've you, missed the time. I'm sure yeah, every man you does. You get more energy to the phone call than your woman. Come on, let's write about it. But I talk to you on the you. You probably half the problem. Don't pick up. But you know when you learn you not know? to take that stuff personal. Yeah, when when you learn that you're on the same team, that you both want the same thing, you go talk about it. Hey, you said yeah. this, and I know you but probably didn't mean it, but, but it hurt my feelings. But Erica, do you ever? I didn't mean that. Erica, I know you didn't do mean you, it. Do you admit when you're tripping though, for real, for real? Uh huh. Oh, absolutely. Warren, so one with. Damn, you a different lady. No, okay, so when he used to, like, really be thick in the studio, like, hours and hours, and wouldn't answer his phone. Right. And I would be so upset, because you go from what's going on in the studio, who at the studio. Right. Is he ignoring me? Did he see the call? Uh, oh, God, is he okay? Is this car in a ditch? Do I need to go? Like, it goes from, it, it's levels, right? Yeah. So by the time you get home, I got a full on attitude. Scenario, yeah. Because I didn't imagine you... Falling in a ditch, I didn't matter. Did, did they arrest you? You got a nice car. Did they pull you over because you're yeah. black? Like all these things, you get home and I go, I'm glad you're home, but I'm pissed. Give me a moment. Mm. Give me a moment. And I was like, that, give me about 10 minutes. I don't like that either. Give me a minute. Nah, man. Why? Right, give me a minute now. to let me what settle. You, what do you want to me now? You want to have a robot, man? You got you to gotta yes. listen to yes. you. Gotta no. know your yes. woman's worth. Oh, well, you could go buy you a robot. No, nah, yeah. that's too much. Too much. <laughs> that's too much. That's but too listen, okay. you learn from each other. Yeah. You learn from her, she learns from you. When you have understanding and you have grace, compassion for who you're with, you can you can kind of rationalize and be you know not go to ten you know at every I argument. Go to ten quick. Nah, you can't. I go to ten quick. That's so annoying. Got what? You gotta work on yourself first. That's annoying to go I to ten drink. first. 
It's not you're not perfect. I think drinking. If I was a drink, I probably knock the edge off a little bit. No, you, know you just got work. You, you can do yoga. Yourself. You don't have to drink. Nah, I tried that. I I, I damn near got naked. Like it was hot. <laughs> it was bad. Oh, I went comfortable. You went to what? You it wasn't hot. It oh, wasn't you went to hot, hot yoga? yoga. It wasn't a Bikram thing, but it was just got. I got. I was burning up. I'm burning up. Well, maybe you was burning fat. I was definitely was burning out. fat, but I definitely wouldn't go back again. So it didn't make you, it didn't like calm you down. So no, like when you no, went no. home to I do I tried it. meditation before the uh, little class, a little, uh, I fell asleep. The scripture says, Uh oh, he'll you keep mean? you in perfect peace, yep. whose mind is stayed on me. Hallelujah. Right? You keep your mind on God, mm -hmm. God being in the center. Yes. It's, it's a little harder to go all the way crazy when you put nah, nah, God I'm in it. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. You yeah. just said you go off. You, you changing did. your story now? I'm a Scorpio. I'm, I'm passionate. No, I'm don't lean on that. that no, Zodiac every Scorpio sign. ain't the same. Every Scorpio is. No. We pretty much, all you Scorpios, hey, we pretty <laughs> much the same. No. Like, so listen, I mean? me and Tina are Tauruses. We not the same. What's, we not the same. That's, what's that, Mark? Two days apart. February, uh, May 1st, April hey. 29th. And then yeah, I got three 29th. sisters yeah, yeah, yeah. that's also like right behind us, May 5th, May 7th. Do people think y'all twins? All the time. Yeah, they have to. Or they think with variations. They think Google's me. They think my older sister Malia is me. Mary, I love your music. She's like, I'm not Mary. Mary. Yes, you are. You ain't got to lie. So y'all Wait, do all the Campbells sing? Mm-hmm. You mean Atkins, my sister? Atkins, yes. Yes, what the Campbells sing too. Yeah. Campbells, yeah. It's, it's singing on both sides, so yeah. my kids can't help it. Back to the marriage. Yes. 20 years. Mm -hmm. That's in, It's 20 years in the spotlight. It's 20 yeah. years ups and downs. Um, for the married people out there. Like, how do you, what did you do? Are you working on yourself? Is, are you working with, is your husband working on himself? Are mm -hmm. you working on yourselves as a couple together? Like, what's the work that you're putting in to keep it together? Because a lot of people just look at it like, oh, I can't do this. This is hard. Mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. So everybody says the vows, mm -hmm. but I don't think they pay attention to the vows. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. When you really look at what those words mean, like what does for better or for worse mean? Does that mean through sickness, through loss of job, through, you know, trying to figure out who I am as a husband? There's no button that comes on that teaches you how to be a wife or a husband, right? You, you look online, people have great pictures and great weddings. Mm -hmm. They spend more time preparing for the wedding day than they do for the marriage. Yep. Yes, so the facts. day after the wedding and now you're married, you'll be like, do I like you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and a lot of people, if you didn't, you know, if, you, if you're if you not a believer, well, a lot of believers do it too. Some people have <laughs> good sex, terrible conversations. Yeah. You know what I mean? You make cute babies, but y'all don't really like each other. Y'all don't vibe. Because people, you got to consider this. Y'all coming from two different homes. Like, I had two different lifestyles. all these siblings in our house operated different than my husband's house. It was just him and his sister. It's kind of like an only child. So it was a little culture shock coming into my family. When we first got married, went to therapy, and so... Um, one of the questions our therapist asked was, how often or how soon can your family come over? I was like, oh, they can come over anytime. And he was like, oh, what? I mean, we still kind of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. have, you know, issues in this area because I love my family. I'm traveling. I'm busy. If they knock on the door, I'm going to say, okay. But if I don't tell him and he's trying to protect the house, random people just walk into the door, even if it's my sister sometimes because my sister Gugu. Google's Google's famous everywhere. Yeah. She always she has friends everywhere. So it's always her and somebody yes, else. Somebody. She don't always tell us the other people are coming. So right. he want to know who's in his house, right? Be walking I'm around like, your draw. Well, if they're house. fine with Google, they're fine, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, not. Yeah. So I have to be considerate of him. I used to get an attitude. Well, you got a problem with my sister? But you have like a my... big because you have a big family. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters you have? I have seven sisters and a brother, and then cousins that are like sisters. So it's a lot. It's a lot and my bro. house is kind of like the safe house. My house is. <laughs> my mom like they just you know pop up but i talk but i'm 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 talking to them about it and they get it you, you got know, the they popping house too you always got snacks you got the backyard you got this oh yeah. yeah 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 and one of my cousins cooking. gave me the best compliment ever she was having a rough time and she said i just feel better when i walk in here mm. yeah it's a my sisters house. come and they cry on the couch Yo, you know, it's a comfortable. That's a that's an honor. My favorite aunt. That was her house. My aunt Teresa and my uncle Charles. You having a bad day? You go straight over there. I promise you, you feel better. So really? when my little nieces and nephews want to come over, it's just like a. It means I'm. It means I got a good house. Mm -hmm. I want to remodel my house. I need to paint my house. I wanted some new furniture in my house. But the spirit in my house makes people want to come and be there and eat there and laugh there. You know. And, and imagine family, yeah. you know, and yeah. feel safe. That is a huge compliment. 
It's not yeah. always peaceful. I make sure the house is peaceful, peaceful for him sometimes. That's how my wife is. She wants a bunch of people in the house, and I grew up with I don't just like me and that. my sister. Like, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, my husband, too. I'm yeah. sister. But he like, don't, she's not a good sharer. He don't like to share his food. He's like, I'll buy no, you your you own. Like to eat. No, come on. Come on. With you don't the let food. your wife share your food? I do. I'm, I'm, I'm whipped into you, submission now. <laughs> Okay, That's you don't what, like it. I can I'm, tell. I'm whipped into some. It is what it is. Like, go ahead, do your thing. Happy, like they say, happy, happy wife, happy life. All right, cool. Just whatever. You, but I believe happy spouse, happy house. I it's get not it. just about me. It's both no. of y'all. And that's what people should know. Happy yeah. marriage. You should happy make a spouse. T-shirt. <laughs> I think it exists already. Yeah. Happy spouse, happy house. Y'all both need to be happy. True. You both need to be taken care of. Like Valentine's Day, you know, it's usually the women. What am I get? What and are you a doing pagan for holiday. Him? What y'all talking about? Oh Lord, it's okay. love. So for Valentine's up. Day, all Bishop of our big Wayne. stuff yeah. was on Valentine's Day. So Got he it. proposed on Valentine's Day. I told him I was pregnant with our first daughter on Valentine's wow. Day. And for Valentine's Day, we switch. We surprise each other. So he'll not know anything like he didn't for this Valentine's Day. Yeah. And I won't know anything. He'll just tell me, pack a bag, mm. bring a heavy coat, walk on, walk on. bring mm. a bikini. Mm. You know, so stuff like that. And uh, we just kind of surprise each other and have a good time. So, uh, yeah, we had Warren on, on the show. Oh, man, I forget. We've been doing so many episodes, but we saw the short set that you got for him. He had this. Yeah. this Listen, short- you yeah. got to get your man together. Get him a short set. Yeah. <laughs> this is her man. He said, This is her man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his, and his pinky was out the whole yes. time. The, his, the Negro came with the furry <laughs> sli- Come coochie slip. Yeah. I was like, oh, hey, but what? I yeah. like that. It's intentional, and you're putting time into <laughs> For sure. the relationship. Uh, which that's sure. why but I you like him a lot online. You really be like, look at my husband. I always send it to Ricky and say, see, she like him. You know, I, I just I be, think, you know. I just think the way people process relationships, and it's like if it's a secret, it's safe. I disagree. I'm, you know, I'm a first lady, so I'm always give you the God perspective. Yeah. The devil loves secrets. Mm. He loves something that lives right here that no one else will know. He can antagonize you. He can drive you crazy with it. And then no one can help you with it. No one can be there for you. No one can see what you can't see. The first thing we did when we got together was bring each other around family. I want my people to see you. I want your people to see me. Because everybody in his family wasn't on board at first when I start coming around because I'm three years older than him. Yeah, but you're so nice. Yeah, but still, they don't know. They're, that. All they know is he's a producer who's this older chick uh, coming around, little light-skinned girl, what you want Got you my... a little young whippersnapper. Got <laughs> you snatch you up one, baby, duh. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, you, yeah. you stay around and you be consistent. They see that love is real. They see that you really care about each other. Y'all should be counselors. I definitely leaned on Warren for a bunch of stuff when I was going through my thing. I have, I have yeah. lots of people who lean on me, and I'm and I'm always willing to. Really? My mom told me, you don't go through nothing for nothing. You mm-hmm. don't go through for yourself. You go through to learn the lesson and tell somebody. So back to the secret thing and how people process. I don't believe that there is a reality show curse. I think if there's problems before, the camera's going to see it. Dang. The cameras don't create problems. They just illuminate yeah. what's there. And so it's stuff that you need to deal with because you grew up different. You know what I'm saying? Yes. If somebody grew up with their fists up, always fighting for stuff, then they're going to love that way. Yeah. You better not hurt me. Don't you do this to me. Defensive. You know what I'm saying? Defensive, you yeah. know? Um, and you can love them through that, you know? A lot of times I'll, 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 I'll we'll tell each other, I, I need more, I need your heart. I need more yeah. attention. And I got an ego, so I don't necessarily like saying that. Like, I'll get mad, be like, <sighs> be pouting. Yeah. Oh. We need more time together. It's like, why you say it? Why you just, just say it? Because I'm a girl. I want him to know automatically. I want to come in and see flowers on the table, and I don't always see flowers. Mm. But he'll tell me he thought about it, but he forgot because he was working. But he said he so. likes, Warren Campbell said he loves giving. He's, he does. Yeah. He gives great gifts. Damn. Jewelry right, and cars and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But he'll also Woo! give me his time. time. Yeah, he'll give me his heart. He'll give me his vulnerability. He'll pray for me. Mm. That's amazing That's like a big deal. if i'm out of town before i get off the phone he's gonna pray that i have a great show he's gonna pray that i sing well he's gonna pray that i'm you know in the good in the right spirit that's yeah, amazing i'm not doing enough in my relationship do you feel, do you, feel you know you're not do you feel <laughs> no i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> but not, do you feel the pressure of because you're you're in when people think of you solo they think of you in the group mm-hmm. that you represent an entire genre like when you step out it's like when you go on Super Bowl, mm-hmm. yeah. yes, it's it's Mary Mary, it's, you know, Eric and Tina from Inglewood, but mm-hmm. it's like, yo, you represent an entire yeah. genre. How is the, the pressure of managing that? Huge. Yeah. Huge. Um, to be put on that platform, it's, it's scary. You don't want to mess it up. 
Right. You don't want to be a bad reflection. Uh, well, I don't. You know, some people don't care. They do what they want to do. Um, but I consider it a privilege that God allowed us to get signed to a label, be launched into the stratosphere, and still be loved in my community. Um, I got a job to do. To whom much is given, much is required. But here's what I love. I'm not doing this by myself. I got all of heaven on my side if I lean into that. If I lean into the power of God in my life, the protection of God in my life, the love of God in my life, even if I walk in a room full of people that don't like me, I'm still guarded and protected by all of heaven. So I don't, I don't trip. Now in the natural, I'm, you know, working on my voice. I'm making sure I look good. All the, all the natural things, but spiritually I'm good. God will only open doors when you're ready for him. If he opened the door, because the devil opens doors too. Yeah, and sometimes but, you walk in places and spaces that you aren't, your character can't handle. I have, I've had a lot of people who say, oh, I want to see background. I want to be, you know, I want to kind of be out there. I was like, are you ready for being out there? Are you ready for the people that won't like you? Are you ready for the temptation? Or can you handle it? You know, when you get the no's and the, get the rejection, will you then go on a pa- pa- campaign and tell the world everybody hates you? They don't hate you. You just wasn't ready yet. Mm. It just wasn't your time yet. When it's your time, the door will open. That's what I believe. Do you feel like in the in the Christian or gospel community that you have a lot of uh, opinions oh, opposing sure. and what it is on the secular side? Or is it about it's the same? It's opinions on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, and it's funny. Um, gospel people come at you, but secular people come at you in a different way. The, the dig is different. Yeah, man, it's like hateful. Really? Like I've had people call me hoes and harlots, oh. and I'm oh. just all kinds of stuff. Like. Yeah, I had people say I'm in the Illuminati. I'm that like, gave you a hard time for an outfit. I'm like, she's yeah, a white up. dress. It, it's, it's all kind of stuff. But that comes with the territory. If you're not ready for that, it can make you retreat and be like, oh, I can't do this. I'm like, yeah. they don't know. My homegirl, she has enough sense. It ain't a mini skirt. It ain't like a, a wobble wobble sundress. It's a, she's wearing a white <laughs> dress. A wobble, what, what is wobble, a wobble wobble? Wobble wobble, wobble sundress? You know what a wobble wobble sundress? I don't know what a wobble wobble You know the sundress when it be wobbling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I wore those on vacation with That's my That's what I'm saying, but you're not on the album cover wearing that. Nah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. if had any R&B uh, singer had that, they were like, oh, my gosh, she's so covered up. It's white. It was a turtleneck. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? But why did they come? Because Christianity has a problem with sexuality. And I just think those conversations on two ends of the, of the spectrum, and it needs to be together. It needs to be together. Yeah, but I'm saying because God wasn't. created sex, God created the whole thing. Like right. if He made anything better than that, He left it in heaven. So why are we not talking about it? Why are we not expressing it? Of course, it has to be tasteful and it has to be right. And you don't want to tempt people. But if you got a problem with lust, you're not gonna make me wear a muumuu just because you've got a problem with right. your lust. But Come that's on, but y'all. that's like, what the church used to do. Yeah, you made that man look at you. What? Because I got curb. God gave me this. Curb, I ain't bought yeah. none of this. Yeah. It's all mine. So why do I have to make sure dummy it he's down. not I have to dummy it down and I just think it's it's very unfair. I think man, we while I love men, well, we y'all have in, to be held responsible. Yeah, but also we grew up in church where stuff. it was uh you had to wear like girls couldn't wear pants and really? you know. Yeah, I grew up like that. What's what what kind of like Pentecostal? Because you see too many curves. They don't want you to see all that. Ladies had to make sure their knees was covered up. Yeah, what's what's wrong with Some knees? Some women couldn't have their arms out. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to tell you. Arms great. are going to tempt, tempt the man? Brother, I'm trying I'm to tell you. Some churches, that's, was, what we was, that's what we were raised it's, on. It's people whose religion is based on fear. I don't want to mess up. Got it. I don't want to do nothing wrong. I don't want, you know, it's makeup, all based on fear. Like, no makeup, that yeah. kind of thing. For real. Yeah. I, I used to think like wearing like girls wearing jeans and pants was bad. That's why I, I used to let girls have it in middle school. Ah, what you got on pants for? You're like, mm. Oh, wow. right. Yeah, that's why I was brainwashed. Oh, no. Well, well listen, it's a lot of churches. It's, it's some churches that has some bad teaching, but it's some with some good ones. Yeah, yeah, it's and if you really want to get to God, you'll keep going to God and disregard the people. Mm. Um, yeah. I loved a message Bishop Omer preached, and he talked about uh, this pastor who, you know, his his, his life was kind of shaky, but he was preaching the word. And this old lady kept coming, and they was asking her why she keep coming. She said, I see him, but I look around him, and I see Jesus. Wow. If you keep looking at people, you're always going to say, I don't want that. But if you look at Jesus, and you look at his life, and you look at what he said, and you look at what he did, then you feel a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm not into religion, but I got a relationship with Christ. And that relationship makes me do different things. It makes mm-hmm. me handle people differently. You know, it makes me respond differently, but it also protects my heart and lets me know that this is not my problem. I'm not staying here. Yeah. My life is, is going to be a short time. And then I got eternity to deal with. That's what I'm looking for. What I have ain't going to last forever. It's going to leave the loved ones. They're going to leave, but I'm preparing for eternity. How I live now 
determines how I live later. And I always tell people, if you didn't rock with God at all in your whole life, you didn't pray to him, you didn't talk to him, you didn't believe him, you cussed him when stuff bad happened to you, but at the end of your life, you're going to be like, oh, they in heaven. Wrong. Is, yeah, yeah. is that where they, I mean, I don't want to send nobody to hell, right. but you can't automatically send them. You never talk to him. Mm. He going to get to you and be like, now, who are you now? What's your name? You know what I mean? You can't, I can't go off my mama's prayers. I can't go off my dad's or my grandmother's. Mm -hmm. I've got to have a relationship, and that relationship holds me responsible to do and be certain things. So back to the platform conversation. So when I get on the platform, I know that I'm representing him. Yes, I'm representing the gospel, black women, Inglewood, my family, Atkins family, it's my church, lot. all it's of that. Lot, lot. But I'm Erica representing Jesus. Bottom line. Point yeah, blank, so. period. And that kind of relieves it off the pressure. I know he gave me something to give. I know I'm here for I didn't get here by accident. I ain't lay on my back to get here. I didn't finagle my way in here. Mm -hmm. God opened this door. I'm walking through it. Plus, she a real one, man. Man, you should Erica's a real one. I love talking to her. I need to, <laughs> I need to, y'all, man, I just want to, y'all need to just. That's what I'm saying. They have a top my prayer line. Or just, I'm always, y'all have college worship. Tell us we about college worship. Yeah. I love my church now. I do. Uh -oh. So from the start, I didn't. I always said I don't. You don't want, want to be, be a first lady. No. You think? No, I don't. Want to be it was it because lady. of too much responsibility, or it just it's just too much overall. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, and I grew up watching my aunt be a first lady, and she did it brilliantly. But she went through a lot. Like it requires a lot of your family. It requires a lot of you spiritually. You got to grow a whole lot. You always got to be on the front row. Uh, well, no, not necessarily. I don't no? have to. <laughs> no. I am, but you don't have to. Yeah. Um, and he was a producer. I was like, God, I want somebody to love you, but it's a little street. That's what I got. I'm good. <laughs> Warren's a little street. Right. A, sure. a lot, actually. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, a little cool, but a little, you know. I love y'all. That's death funny. Bro, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Hip hop, gospel. I like it. It was a good mix. Did you know he was going to be a preacher? No, Did you... I didn't know that. <laughs> when he told you, when he came home and said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a preacher. He didn't say it like that. Okay. So it was like, oh, I'm going to go to seminary. I was like, oh, okay, you want to learn more about God? Cool. Yeah. Then he started hanging with bishops and stuff, and I was going, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You saw, But you Great. saw it evolving. And he was like, oh, we're going to start a Bible study just, you know, once a month on Friday night. I was like, okay, you know, I have a lot of concerts on Friday night, but okay. <laughs> and he was like, and I want you to come, and I'm going to pray. I was like, he was like, yeah, just get up and pray. I was like, okay. And then he was like, we're going to start a church. I was like. Did you have a conversation? word. Did you did you have a conversation <laughs> like, man, are you, are you? You no, you're, because I didn't want to. I just said, okay. You are supportive. I was like, you are very okay. supportive. Um, but he could feel that I wasn't really there. He he knew. But he gave you he time knew to. That I wasn't. Yeah, that I wasn't on board. I wasn't. Just because I was like, God, we talked about this. You knew I did not want this. Wow. I'm learning some things. And How, so yeah. I, I kept going and I was in the choir and on the praise team and, you know, working with the women. And there was one Sunday. I know it was the Holy Spirit. It was like, you really going to do this to this man? Because if I'm not on board, it makes it harder for him. Heck yeah. Every Sunday morning, he's wondering, is my wife on board with me? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, can you hear from God while you're wondering if I'm going to be sitting on the front row rolling my eyes or if, if I'm going to be the wife that destroys your church? Because it's a lot of first ladies. It's a whole lot of foolishness. Yeah. And I remember it was one Sunday. He preached really good. And I went up and I whispered in his ear and I said, I want you to know I'm with you 100%. Oh. And I just, I felt him kind of like melt into my arms. And I was like, I'm Aww. so sorry. I was like, I'm I'm so sorry. I just I just wasn't there. And you don't get there until you get there. How but long, what I love is he gave me time. Yeah, how, how long did it take for you to get there? Just last year. <laughs> 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 it might have been a year. He yeah. always but he teases me. He tells the church, he was like, the first lady didn't really join the church for the yeah. first year. <laughs> she was second. But lady. I had just put <laughs> a new record out. I had just mm -hmm. put out a little oh, yeah. more Jesus and all of that. And so you were uh, moving. You were moving. I was moving. Yeah. And I was like, You you put the record out. How am I supposed to be here every Sunday? Yeah. But you know, it's just the people. But when I tell you I love different. the it's people, different. yeah. We got a good group of people How that are so supportive. How long y'all been doing Cali worship? Six years, seven years? Wow. So just as long, Hold on, time seven out. Years. as long as the morning show. Time out. That's what I'm saying. Seven the morning show. So that's that was the problem. The morning show, the right. new album, and the church all started at the same time. How old are your kids seven years ago? Seven years ago, Chris is 10, Zaya's three, Wozy's four. Little yeah. kids. Little kids. Yeah. I, man, so, I, I so y'all both was doing different kids, things. Bro. That's what it is. So That's both y'all was. Mm-hmm. That is a ton. Yeah, it's a ton. Cause I got I got three sons and I'm like, man, it's a lot. But that's 
a yeah. ton of work. Yeah, my you- custer- my 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 kids are active. My daughter runs track. My my oldest daughter is in you know a sings music beautiful. academy. Oh, oh, she so, sings so they always have stuff to do. So like, what's today? Wednesday. So tomorrow I'll have to get at a track and then get home. So I'll drop off. Warren will pick up. It's a lot. Mm. And Krista singing. Are Krista you guys singing? Are you guys planning on putting a single? Oh, for on sure. Them? She's got to put an album out. She's an, she's a complete artist. She's well spoken. She's creative. When she was like five and six years old, yeah. she had a bunk bed. She would put a string from her top bunk bed to her bathroom door and put a sheet on there, and call me and Warren and, and say she was gonna have a show. But she behind the curtain. She goes, "Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing Krista." She flings the sheet back and starts singing and dancing. And then she tells her dad, she has shutters in her room. Can you go move the shutters so I have lights? And she's singing and singing. She what? stops. She goes, Mommy, do we have a smoke machine? I said, if you don't keep on singing your song. So she, she keeps singing. Production. Yeah, and then she says, I'm going to throw my shirt on you, Mommy. I need you to fall out. So she throws her shirt. I go, oh. <laughs> so she's imagined big stages. Yeah. And you bring her life. out on your show. Oh, you yeah. You guys have a song that you guys yeah, sing yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah, she's written on stuff before. Like, we'd be writing and she'd come in and be like, oh, you should say this. And it'd be like, the line be like, fire. Yeah. And we literally Use put it. in the song. Yeah, so now she gets paid to sing background. We don't, we don't just, we don't just pick her out. Yeah, 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 so sure. she'll write and she'll sing. And she got publishing deals. Yeah. Man, her dad will be like, fill out an invoice, submit your invoice. It's a real business. We'll pay you. Yeah. Show the business. Yeah, she works in the family business. So we're training. My son plays the bass. Piano and what drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warren yeah, set up his little production stuff in his room, and his little ideas are great. Him and Krista were in the room coming up with some music ideas, and it was, like, really dope. Me and Warren look at each other going, do you hear this? Wow. We make them harmonize and sing. They're pre- we're preparing them. And My the parents baby, made me sing. And the baby's athletic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think she was going to sing. I didn't think Zay was going to sing. That's my feisty child. Feisty. Oh, yeah, she's yeah. feisty. Got to ask you this. Yes. Always wanted to. Okay, you and your sister... Mary, Mary, we don't know when we're getting a project, right? It's out there. It's completed. We don't know, correct? Mm-hmm. We do. We do know. Is it a setup? <laughs> is it, was, this, was the Super Bowl a setup? Like, who? this is a big stage. We're going to put this out. Like, what's happening with that? Like, what's the procedure? Like, what's like the do procedure? we need to call Tina? Hold up. Like, what's the you know, deal? You it's know, it's been a lot of stuff. You know, sometimes you can... Be walking with someone and what's happening in your head and what's happening in their head is two different things. So the way I talk about Mary Mary is different from the way Tina talks about Mary Mary. Mm -hmm. And if I can, you know, just be honest, we had a really great, great kind of coming together, kind of come to Jesus conversation. Recently? Yeah, recently. All right. And just really aired some things out and, you know, shared our hearts and just really being appreciative of what Mary, how Mary Mary changed our lives. Right. You know what I mean? And what it did in the world. Because when you're doing it, it's easy to minimize it because I'm seeing it through my eyes. I don't see how other people see it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't always believe people when they, oh, my God, Mary Mary changed my life. Everybody like, yeah. But yeah. that's me minimizing in a way, um, trying to keep it safe in my mind, you know, trying not to yeah. blow my head up. So a lot us this conversation that we just had recently was really, really great. And I'm super excited. There is a Mary Mary record coming. We're preparing ourselves for that. Um but but my solo record was already coming and so uh we gotta get it together, make right. sure Warren's good and all of that. Cause I know we done got on his nerves. I a know lot. I know he's sick of he's, us. But our- we can't do it with anybody but him. Got I it. mean not that we can't work with other people because we have before. He ain't gonna allow that. Warren, no, nah, I'm the producer. Uh, he, he might. He what other, might produ- be sick. What other producer would you guys want to work with? It w- anybody that we work with would have to go through him. Anybody that we've worked with, it's always been like, "Hey, Warren, you we thinking about working with so and so?" Because everybody that's doesn't slave mentality. get us. That sounds like I don't know. Erica, <laughs> it sounds like he got to. He's trying to keep you in a box. <laughs> Nah, you know what I'm saying. If the box, know. okay, if he keeping me in box, the box includes Grammys mm. and American Music talk Awards. About it. Talk and about millions it. Of fans. No, Warren's one of my favorite producers, so I'm just talking. Mine to too. He's yeah. one of them. like for real. For real, that's, that's not you being biased. No, not it? for real. No, we hear other artists, Tina, do it all the time. Man, if Warren worked with them, they would be. Has there ever been a record that Warren did for somebody? You'd be like, Negro, why you didn't let us get that? Absolutely. What's what, what's one of your records? You'd be like, I wish that was ours. I wish I had his. By Brandy. Yes. On what album? Full Moon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh-uh. See, that's, our, that's our argument. I'm like, Full Moon was better than Never Never Say Never. And Warren uh-huh. was like, nah, man, Never no, Say Never. Never like, Say nah. Never was in the 
Never mind. They it's, both. I don't know that Full Moon is better than Never Say Never. I'm a Full complete a slapper. Brandy fan. Yeah, complete. Like love you, which one you think you play more? You think you, Full Moon? Both. I think I play yeah. both. Yeah. We had Adam Blackstone in. He yeah. was like, yes, Full Moon. Hands down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not getting into you know, it. Dark. Depends, yeah. It depends on if that's your era. It depends on what you... So music is emotional. Yes. Uh, Depending you know on what, what you're point. going through will determine how it, what it means to you. Yeah. Like a big breakup song while you're in a breakup is going to forever make a stamp on your life. Every time you hear it, it's going to be the best thing you ever heard because it's going to take you back to that moment. Moment of pain or moment of joy. Like yeah. whether you listen to... Uh, we were just singing a song at church and um, uh, one of our members was saying they played this at my mom's funeral. Wow. So it, it feels different for me. That's what music does and that's what I love about my music. I've heard so many amazing stories or, yeah. you know, I was trying to become this. I was in school and I was, you know, playing this song or playing that song. I had a first lady who called me um, for her birthday party just to sing my song called Changes mm -hmm. because it, you know, she was, you growing older, you making some decisions and, and so music impacts you that way. And so you probably feel that way because of what Full Moon I, I remember getting you. a new sound that? system. Well, That's what, what it was. What I had a new was sound. That? I don't know what year it was. And I, and I can tell you, 1998, that was when I first started. I was moving around. You know, was I was outside. I was outside. I was outside. And <laughs> was outside. Randy, what does was, that mean? I was outside. Was outside. You know, we, you was we listen, living. We had a car. You know, out there moving. Erica, you know, as a you know, the first lady of Cali worship. I'm trying you to keep talk to her. Keep no, it like, I was outside. You was, was out there. You was living. You was doing your thing. Yeah, I was Dougie Fresh. You was Dougie. Hey, 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 hey. That album, it touched me in a different way. I bet it did. Okay. Hello. It said a lot of scenes. Who, yeah. are some, who are some of your favorite singers? Like, if you were like, what's your top three singers? Top three, ooh. Like, like this, I'm going to listen to this no matter what. This is going to be mine. Be it secular and God. I want to hear it. Like, who who inspire you? Like, when you listen to them, like, oh, they, mm. this is nice. Like, you said Brandy. So yes. Brandy's one. Brandy's one. Um, the Winans, Marvin Winans. But what era, though? What era the Winans? Which one? I could take Marvin Winans from beginning to end. His voice is just... He does it for his, you. His his voice is just amazing. His phrasing, how he ad libs, um, just the message. There's a song called "Trust in God" that I can listen and it'll make me cry at any moment. No matter what. No matter what. Really. Because you always have to trust in God. It just. Oh man, that's yeah. my song. Um, voices. I love Barbara Streisand. Wow. Really? Yes. That's a Barbara Streisand song. I love. Uh, um, she sang it live. Oh my God! It's my on neck. The, my back. No, 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 no. Not, not that song. No, no, no. That's not about Barbara no. Streisand. No, no, no. But anyway, <laughs> um, somewhere out there. Olita. Somewhere out there. I like oh. people, though. Her version of people. Or On a Clear Day. Yeah, but love she, that. I love the But library. Olita Adams. Oh. Olita Adams does that for you? I love Olita Adams. Have you ever met her? Yes. Really? So I met her, and when I was, I think when I was turning 25, Mama Campbell, for my birthday, got her to call me. I was driving. I had a black Jetta. And uh, she, uh, <laughs> yeah. she, she called my phone and I Alita said, says, yes. And I was like, oh, my God. She had done her gospel record, of course, get hair and all that stuff and circle of love. Her, Oh, man, I just I love her. But that's a good time period for you, too. Huh? Yeah. She made me good, feel good about being an alto. Really? Her, Anita Baker, they made me feel good about being an alto. Because, you know, the world loves a soprano. In alto, you got to work a little harder. Is so, Layla Hathaway an alto? She's an alto. Yeah, I yeah She it. might be a tenor, just the warmth like of her. I, I like raspy. Layla. I like raspy voices. But, I mean, I love Karen Clark and Yolanda Adams and, you know what I'm saying? I just, I love so many different voices. This is a new artist named Doe that I think is so Shout out to Doe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, oh, that's Lecrae's artist. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, y'all yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. it. Okay. Because I watched the podcast. Hey, Hello. Here's a, here's no, uh, no, that's not. That's uh, right. She's Jonathan McReynolds. Oh, uh, McReynolds. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jonathan him. McReynolds. I'm, yeah. But I'm saying I'm always interested in the dynamic of family when it comes to brothers and sisters because mm -hmm. I'm an only child. I'm mm -hmm. only close with my cousins, right? Mm -hmm. So when I see a family like you guys are, you're a big family. Then yeah. Warren is close with his sister, right? Yeah. Then you guys, um, like y'all, the way y'all emerge each other's family, like. You don't know who's the real mother, mother. Like you treat your, you treat his <laughs> right. mother like that's your mom. Yeah. That's, that is your mom. Now that was on Mama Campbell's part. That was intentional. She said, "I don't want a daughter in law. I want another daughter." Oh. And so we had, you know, we had some work to do. Really? You know, it was a little challenging at first. You know what I mean? Because you're used to hearing people, "Oh, the mother in law's gone," and Mama Campbell was no nah. joke. But she, she taking care of Mama hers, Campbell. Period. Did different though. 
She think a yeah. little different. Yeah. Yeah. She was helping me out back in the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's she's understanding, she's but she don't play on. no games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She gonna love you, but she gonna get you and together. She let you know that ain't right for you. That ain't it. Right. Yeah. She let she'll me know. get you all the way together. If she don't like something, she not biting her tongue at all. And she let me know. She right. let me know. With relationships. One hundred percent, bro. Oh yeah. You need to go back over to the house. No, no. She loves. We praying just, for you, fuzz. Yeah. No, she get your life right. She love Ricky. I'm just saying. It's you though. We talking about you. I'm good. Not just selection. It's a wedding this year. This nigga, no. This nigga right here didn't. Um, he said he didn't that know, no real fast. This nigga right here didn't know what a bless oil was. I'm yeah, I, I didn't, didn't know what bless oil. Was? No, I grew up. I grew up in the streets. It's the not mean, Greece. The, the mean streets of Philadelphia. Yeah, so I didn't know. I didn't, the what? The mean streets. The mean streets of Philadelphia. of Philadelphia. So I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. It was funny. Knowing. I went to church. Shout out to. You went to Catholic school though. I went to Catholic. Yeah, they have bless oil in Catholic. No. Catholic school. What we about only, the water? No, we only went there. You got your holy water, right? Yeah, but if you're not Catholic, you couldn't go up there and get blessed. So why you go to a Catholic school and you wasn't Catholic? Because uh, because of the school. It's better than yeah, a public better, school. Yeah, the education. So you went to a Catholic school and wasn't Catholic? Many people yeah, do that. People yeah. Do that. yeah. Wow. People go to Christian schools that ain't Christian. Heck yeah. Y'all just going for the education? Yes. Uh, yeah. Dang. That's why you go to, yeah, it was about, shout out to St. Martin DePore. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Mr. Leonard. He was a great teacher. <laughs> Come he's still on, there. teachers. Yeah, he's called DePaul Catholic now. He's still there. You ever go back and kick in for the 1,000%. School? But you're yeah, not yeah. Catholic. No, I'm not Catholic. So what do you do when you, they had the little mass? Ooh, so here's the thing. You would have to go, because you had religion, you would have to go. The school was connected to the church. You would go in. And you would have like certain friends who were Catholic and they would get blessed, but you would just you know, stand back. Fall back. Yeah. You I'm just the, in the you just in the, in the blessed vicinity. Yeah. Got it. Got it. I, I believe blessings spread around. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I'm mm-hmm. blessed, God, God, I don't think God compartmentalizes that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God He loves you're all gonna, of you're gonna, his children. You're gonna, you're gonna feel blessed because of proximity. Like y'all blessed because I'm here. Say Man, it again. Say that Come again. Come on. I'm Bless spreading that blessings. Hold Listen, on. come on. You hear that? You gonna record that? <laughs> no, no. Hold on, man. You about to uh, Facetime your your old priest? No. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Buzz, you My crazy. old priest. <laughs> hold on. Listen, just like they say in Romans six fourteen. Oh Lord. Sin will not be your master, Fuzzy, because you are not under law. You now live under God's. You had to Google that. grace. No, it was my Bible app. I do have a holy Bible app. You have an app. Heck yeah. App? yeah, I stay you connected. Bible app? How you how you got Instagram but you ain't got the Bible? How you, how you app? like that? How you like? How you like I that? like it because I I tap in. Yeah, yeah. I love my Bible yeah. app. Like, yeah, for real. I don't. You don't tap in. You I gotta make sure in? I go to the Bible app before I go to Instagram. I tell people don't go to Instagram and Twitter and Facebook first, or TikTok or none of that. Yeah. Wow. And Wake like, up and set your no, day I, in the right. Actually, that's right faster direction. if you use the Bible app because you can get when they say go to so and so. And as a kid, I was like, and by the time they get through reading the six scriptures, I'd be like. You, can, you missed it. it. You missed it. I missed it. Yeah, you missed a lot of it. You were just now. Warren there. gives time at our church. He was like, "If you need more, if you need a little more time, say hold up." And the whole church would go, "Hold, hold up. up!" And then oh. he say, "When you got it, say yes, sir." And the whole church go, "Yes, sir." And then he read. Y'all still do? Y'all do traditional Sunday? Yeah. yeah. Next time I'm out here on Sunday, I'm gonna, I would like to go. Do I? I don't get dressed up. I don't have to get dressed. You know, I saw no, you on the t-shirt. Dress like well, you could dress yeah. like that. I saw that. you on Instagram because yeah. I follow Cali Worship. On Instagram, come and on! And I saw y'all. Yeah, I was like, yeah, y'all had t-shirts on. Yeah, y'all fun. Crazy. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm we in like, a building campaign right now, so we're in escrow for this new building. We've okay. had a church for seven years and been blessed to have like over a thousand members. Wow! Um, Going to a bigger facility, to raise money. bigger yeah. church, really we're raising eight hundred thousand. So if you want to support Cali Worship, yeah, please. Cali we got people that much. App, yes, go to seven seven nine seven seven Cali Worship and be a blessing to our church. Where you Where you guys uh, located? In North Hollywood. And, oh, where, and where's, the new, where's the new location going to be? Just a little bit further in San Fernando Valley. But it's like six minutes from where the church was. Beautiful building. Yeah. Beautiful building. Super excited. Yeah. Next time happen. I'm here, I, I want to well, – I know you probably okay, won't go. go. I know you probably won't go. He will. Um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go. Like that. I know. I just made that call. I just wanted to yeah. – yeah. Listen, we asked somebody. Everybody come to the, to the church. The yeah. first church that Kanye actually went – to for the Sunday Cali, service, yeah. he came to yes. He came to Cali worship. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna share that story with us. I'm like, go ahead, Kanye. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy that we did this. I'm thank. I'm thankful. Yeah, you are just like a, a, always a, a bubble of, of joy. <laughs> always thank a you. bubble I of joy. That. Bundle of joy. Bubble of bubble joy. Bubble of joy. Bubble. Bubble. Not a bundle. Is it? What's the phrase? Bundle, bundle. of joy. I, it was a bundle of joy. I mess up bundle? cliches yeah, all bundle. the time. Yeah, bundle. Beacon of light. Beacon uh, of light, bundle of joy. I could be a cool chick. It's fine. Yeah, no, but yeah, you got that. You got the Inglewood. Heck you yeah, you're yeah, cool. cool chick. I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly care for when people like over Jesus because it's me. Like, be who you are. Yeah. Like, because nah. I could tell when you're faking. And like, like, yeah, like, stop it. Yeah, that's what he's yeah. about to do. Listen, no, do you do you, do any of your exes before Warren be trying to slide <laughs> into your DM? Be like, hey, you remember me? <laughs> they ever do that? 
Nah, they all respectful. Really? Yeah, they I all would respectful. definitely. If I was one, I'd be like, man, get off my lady, fool. Back <laughs> up. I definitely No, I, I had lots of boyfriends. I, I dated a lot. But Warren was the one. Yeah. Yeah, he was the one. He's the one. I had Warren. two rings before I had Word? Ring. You collecting? No. They asked. And I you said, said yes. yeah? Yeah, and then Tw- I said, You were proposed twice? Why. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this, the second time I had the dress, what? the church, the flowers, no. all of that. And I was like, Lord, well, you this almost, is not you. You was almost there. Yeah. We were a few months and Warren, we and Warren and came in like, no, <laughs> no, 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 I didn't know him yet. I didn't know him yet. I Man. literally was praying and found That's my super, favorite guys, scripture. That was young. Yeah, I was 20. Do you feel like people get married too young? I feel like I got married too young. I was 22, 23. Some people do and stay married yeah. 40 and 50 years. Yeah, but the church be making you get married early. Some people do. And my mama said, if you made one mistake, don't make two. Mm. Like, you know, some church people, if y'all having sex, you might as well. It's better to marry than to burn. And now I marry you for your sex and I don't like you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And now we Dumb. terrible. And then well, you we... raise kids and bring them into it. But the guy was really nice. Church family, all of that. It just wasn't for me. And I um, found my favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge God and he shall direct thy path. And I would say that every day. And I was like, God, please tell me if I'm doing the wrong thing. Cause my father told me next to your decision to serve Christ, the most important decision in your life is who you marry. Yeah. You're building legacy with this person. It's not just having kids. It's how you'll do life. And it wasn't the right guy. I remember he said, I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna be a singer. He was like, well, you can sing in my dad's church. Mm. Reflect. That's it. This is your dad's church. Mm. But I was singing other places when I met you. And so um, So you had a date, a wedding date. Yeah. And, and um I gave him his ring back. Ooh. When did what? you meet Warren? I met Warren in nineteen ninety five. At first King. Oh, wow. Okay. And then you no. guys were- <laughs> He you came to. He came <laughs> you know what First King is? I don't. The, church no. is? the church used to be off of a, um, Western. And he came to a play I was in. First King's with his club. ex-girlfriend. With a girlfriend. And Hello. he came back. Boom, that's gangster. <laughs> really? Gangster. And then he came back a few days later. Well, with he came with, it. with his dad. Without her. Wow. And then we met after that. Scandalous. We connected and never... Wait, did Warren like freak, like I gotta I gotta holler at you, but I'm gonna drop off this little dead weight right here. No, I didn't me? meet her. That was I didn't yeah, meet him no, that night. Don't, you don't have to meet okay. her. But he's like, oh, I'm gonna choose up. That's what he did. <laughs> I'm gonna choose, choose up. up. <laughs> I'm gonna choose up. <laughs> Why are you doing the gangster hands? Because that's the... Warren. That's hey. Warren all day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he does. Check this. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, so Warren, you dropped off the Uwop and came back to get the uh. Oh, oh see, he never had no girlfriend. That's right. He did he tell me that. Did. He didn't have no girlfriends. He had he associates. Had asso- you yeah, feel me? Friends. He had Co-workers. birds. That's Co-workers. what we call them birds. Come they on, don't man. know. They, they didn't was not know. flying. <laughs> they thought they was girlfriends. Yeah. So 95. <laughs> he was never in a relationship till he started dating you. You feel yeah. me? Well, he didn't call me his girlfriend for a long time. Well, you, Mar- you, had, to, Mar- you had to earn that. You had to earn that. Warren, I got your back, my G. Yeah. Married in 2000. No, I didn't have to earn nothing. Yes, you do. You got to. you know, he was working at Death Row. He had a lot of things going on. You feel me? So? Yeah. I was, And I was who I was. Yeah. In my little white Toyota Tercel doing hair. I love. <laughs> you did hair? Singing at the church. Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. You still, do, you, you still good on? Oh, I'm still sweet, but I don't do hair. I don't. God, I sing really? for a living. That's what I, I tell my I, sisters. I, I sing for a living. Oh, Because everybody be wanting to come up your house <laughs> and have you <laughs> tighten them up. Yeah. Erica, can you color my hair? I sing for a living. I, I have a radio show. I'm not cutting your hair. So, so, you, night, yeah. oh, so you met in 95, <laughs> married in 02? 01? 01. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. That's a lot. Yeah, man. y'all, okay. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it almost didn't happen, though. Again? Was you one of them dates? Like, Well, he needed time. He He's over there smacking his teeth. Yeah. He needed space to figure out. You know, he was becoming his producer. You know, you got access to all these. He was cracking. like, do I really want to get married right now? Wow, it's cracking, and I was huh? like, what you want to do? You tell me. We either together or we not. He said space. And he was like, space. I was like, we broke up. He was like, we took space. I said, what's space mean? A way, a part. A part. You could be doing anything in that a space. Part. Let me prepare my mind in case you don't come back, in case it's not what you want. And so we was, I was traveling being Mary Mary, and I remember I was in Germany. And he pulled in up a lobby. On no. Oh. Yeah. Tina and Teddy were engaged, and so they came, and they was like, Miss um, Atkins, there's a phone call for you. I was like, well, Tina's for you because I ain't got no man no more. She was like, oh, don't say that like that. I was like, you know it ain't for me. She goes to the phone. She comes back. She's like, it's not for me. And I went back to the phone, and it was him. 
And he was like, I'm sorry, we don't have to take space no more. How long were y'all the married. space? Damn, niggas, why, why? Some, was it some months? About it. Huh? Seven months? Three months? Three months, okay. Yeah, he remembered, I didn't remember. I just It just felt like forever. I was on the road, boohoo crying. We, me and Tina were promoting Mary Mary, so we were in Paris. We were in all of, we were all over the place. And he didn't Madrid go. and right. these beautiful Cologne, places. Yeah, everywhere. Holland, you're, everywhere. You're sad. You're saddened. I was. I'd, I'd get on stage and sing, and I would literally be in the but car. But why you didn't sobbing. call him? But why you didn't call him? Like, because baby. He said, What do you want to do? No, yeah. I'm not convincing you, got, you. If you don't want me, you don't want pagan. me. I'm I would not, never I'm not want that my girl. if I had a hey, daughter. Man, whose side be, are you on, my If G? I have a daughter, I want my no. daughter begging no man for nothing. At all. Ever. Not on, begging, on. but you got to tell her. Never. Tell her. No. Maybe he, for maybe, what? Maybe he need to. No, I'm maybe old he need school. To me. You would want your daughter like. I'm not, it's not about that, bro. Uh, I'm talking see? about Erica and Warren. I'm like, no. maybe he need to hear the. Maybe he needed some attention. No, you know he wanted. He needed to make his decision. But it made y'all find it though closer, right? Not at first. When he first, I was when he first on the phone call. I was like. All right, I did. I just I didn't know what to believe. You had believe. the hard head spirit, huh? No, I had literally. If I could be honest, I had start putting nice little brick walls in front of my heart. I was like, I'm not finna be hurt again. Mm. Warren, what happens if she started dating somebody in Paris? <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> take it on, the, take it on the chin. <laughs> well, it all worked out. It's it all worked out. Yeah, it all worked. It's a part no, of our love story. The thing is, it's ups and downs in this relationship. That's what I was getting at first. Yeah. You like, but that's it's the a thing. song. Yeah. It's, you got the ups and downs. Yeah. Hey, hey, produced by Warren Campbell. Um, but no, Snoop that's the thing. Like, <laughs> you see, not, I'm not gonna say finished because you guys are still going, but you see the finished product and people need to know that yeah y'all went through all but, what's this the, but even when y'all married what's the longest you can go on a silent treat why would you want to do I that i can't bud? do that for what you i'm just asking Sometimes i'm never it's never gonna be totally silent because we have too much life together yeah so it's you know, but he house. knows when i you know you he knows quiet. he said i'll look out the window and i don't look at him he said and i blink and i nod really slow <laughs> And I give him one word responses. And I don't <laughs> laugh at his jokes. <laughs> but I'm not and not laughing at his jokes is a big deal. He knows something wrong, but I'm not laughing. I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> This is funny. Eight. And I'll answer and be like, Erica, this is you want to get something to eat? Funny. Mm -hmm. funny. Me. Yeah. I need to get Tina. We need to get Tina on here too. Yeah. Where's Tina at? What up, Tina? Tina? She out there. Oh. All right. Well, thank you. We appreciate your time. You're welcome. Thank y'all for Can having me. Can we get me. up for Erica Campbell? Yeah. Another applause right here. Yeah. A, <laughs> Come um, on. a positive. The album positive drops. March 19th. March 19th. Or 18th. The single. The March single, March 19th. The album is coming later. Yeah. Okay. The video is coming too. The video is fire. Okay. Super excited. Took forever. Shout out to she Real got, Life Hooper. She got a nail it. line coming out. Nail, uh, yeah. nail polish line. Nail polish line. Still got my wig line Erica by Erica Campbell. Holla. I like you. You're yeah. a nice, you're a nice she person. She's solid. Thank the you. whole All the sisters are fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're cool. That's... I need some husbands for my single sisters. Wait, wait you... which one's a single? Google's still single? Google. Okay. Alain, no, well, hmm? no. Elena Fire. Shantae. Hello, Elena. <laughs> um, oh, that's the only singles everybody the three? married. The three of them? Well, Jam's not married. Okay, well, look, if you want to marry an Atkins, email us <laughs> at fuzzyandq at gmail.com. But the family don't play, though. Don't You can't yeah. be coming here on your week game. If you would no. like to marry an Atkins, email us at fuzzyandq oh, at gmail.com. We right. would, yeah. Or if you want to date my mom. What is oh, yeah, that? I told you about my dad. I told you about my dad. Let me hook my dad my up. Was so, yeah. what is it? <laughs> a brothel hotline. Yeah, listen. No. If, you're, if you're saved, sanctified. They're going to be so mad at me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Fuzzy and yeah. you at gmail.com. Uh, mama, ma, mama Atkins is, she, yeah, yeah she she's fine. Yeah, she's My mom's fine. a hottie. Do she, she's do a she, like, is there a certain restaurant she like to go to that we need to, like, tell the guys? She likes Lori's. Okay. Hulk, mm -hmm. Steakhouse, get it right. You okay. feel me? <laughs> Laurie's not the season of salt, yeah. but like the real restaurant. Right. Though. The yeah. real you know restaurant. The real restaurant. Bells? Is Harold and Bell still open? Yeah, but she, yes, she's Bell's. a little past that. Like, listen, okay. too much, too much fried food over oh, there. Too, <laughs> you know too much sodium. Yeah, okay. Too much sodium. She likes the spinning bowl salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. so LA. Oh no, they have yeah. Laurie's other places. Take it a boa. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. That's kind of yeah. Buzz, you are hilarious. And what, what is your mom gonna go on a date too? Nah, my mom's yeah, cool. Listen, my mom's listen, like you, she like to be at the house. You know what I'm saying? I love she my mom. might want to go on a date. She wants somebody. Mom. She wants somebody to give, wants somebody give her flowers. No, I, I give her flowers. I, I, she don't yo, want them from you. You know, you know what I said? She can't get no sugar from you. Let me tell you I give her kisses. You ain't gonna my rub mama. her thighs like nah, she nah, won't. No, 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 negative. Let me tell you this. <laughs> every every you card I give my mom. Happy birthday, mama, from the only man you need in your life. That's every card I ever signed. Really? That's selfish. Facts. That's yeah. selfish. selfish. You got somebody you laying yeah. down with? Yeah. My mama don't. I don't. That's my mama. That's my mama. Nah. She needs. Yeah. Nah, she cool. She Everyone good. Everyone needs love. 
Yeah, but she cool. Her whole family love her. Oh, oh Lord. Mm. I would hate oh. to see my mama kissing on somebody. Hold, you don't want to hold see, somebody's you, hand? You don't need to see her. You ain't over there all the time? No, you baby and she a scorpion. Yo, she a scorpion. Baby boy. Boy. Yo, you baby boy. <laughs> you, you, you Yo, you baby. I don't want to do that. You, are you baby, baby boy. boy. Get off my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ah, yeah, no, that's wild. hilarious. Right, we're we're, we're going to get a therapist on for you for us. Nah, yeah, we good. We I good. got a good one for you. Yeah, a therapist. Oh, yeah, I believe in therapy for real. Okay, okay. yeah, look, <laughs> FAQ podcast, Erica Campbell, the legend. Thank you for stopping by. We really My appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Subscribe, follow, do all you need to do. FAQ podcast, Fuzzy and Quincy. We'll see y'all next time, right here. Peace.